this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this. So, what is this? Well, this is an outlet cover. This is uh, for a utility box build project. And we designed this in OpenSCAD. And I'm not going to go into, uh, again, as with the utility box, a whole lot in the OpenSCAD piece. I will put the link to our sister channel uh, down there where I do go into quite a bit uh, on the OpenSCAD code used to create this. Um, but I will put it out there, uh, in, like they did the box in STL form and everything. If you're interested in printing this out and kind of following along, you can just print it out yourself. Um, came out pretty good. Um, a little bit of challenges in the model. Uh, one of the pieces is this came out a little bit thicker. These are supposed to be uniform thickness all the way around. So I have to check that, but it, it definitely works. And... Um, you also see the tapered holes. I probably add a little bit more taper now that I've seen them in the real world. And again, but this is what prototyping is all about. So in short, this came out pretty good. And so uh, the next step is we're going to head over to the bench and we're going to uh, finish up the project. Also, in this episode, we're going to be adding some TPU uh, printed feet that we uh, printed out in TPU to it and to kind of finish everything up. So let's head over to the bench, take a look at it, and... Uh, Oh, we'll do a time lapse of this first, sorry. And then we're going to head over to the bench. So time lapse, bench, see you there. Don't be square. Welcome back. So we've taken a look at the time lapse of printing this and also in the same process I've printed some more TPU feet. So um, I'll put the time lapse up in the corner. I've shown these before so they're not that exciting. But I will show you the time lapse in the corner. So I want to talk about this a little bit. So we're going to finish the assembly of this utility box today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some feet on it now. I've uh, I printed, I've printed these um, a little bit larger for aesthetic purposes and also stability. And I'm also going to put one dead center of the bottom here. So the idea behind that is, again, to provide um, some extra stability to the unit and also make it look kind of cool. So um, I had not planned on doing the center one, so I just popped a quick uh, hole in the center. And if I get it over here in the frame... So what I'm going to do is just uh, quickly assemble, assemble these. And I'm going to get a little bit different screwdriver to do this in. Now, I, I specifically designed, these uh, feet were also done with OpenSCAD. And um, uh, these are 3 quarter inch number 8 bolts with a washer. And you notice, see the washer. I'll get it up here closer. It fits nicely right into that opening, and uh, it's a little bit sub-flush of that opening. So that works out pretty good. So um, then what we're going to do is going to be a little bit of a challenge getting this... Um, uh, stranding down here. So these uh, hemostats always come in a little bit handy for reaching hard to get places and putting things down there. Where so you see I just put that on there. So again, the hemostats come in pretty handy. I'm going to have a little bit harder time, I think, with the uh, with the nut. If I get really, I might get lucky and get it to catch. Yeah, I think I did get lucky, so then I'll just take my nut driver and run my nut driver in here and tighten this down. And then see, I've got this. Now this will take the bulk of the pressure of plugging in, and the other four feet will sit there. And then I'm just going to take these off. 
uh, and then these just screw in on the little so that the hole is a little bit tight I did spec it for uh, a number eight screw and again washer will go on there and we'll put a nut on top of here if I really wanted to get fancy I could have done a locking nut uh, try to keep it in the camera view so you can kind of see how it's going together and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably um, speed up the next uh, three feet because you kind of get the idea. So I'm going to I'm going to go to time lapse here. Just speed it up real quick. Okay, this is my cue to drop out of time lapse, and so we're back, and so you can kind of see how it's uh, come out. So, again, a lot of this is for aesthetics. I could have went with, went with smaller feet, but I wanted the larger feet just for the aesthetics of it all. So it will sit on my desk like this, and so that'll be pretty cool. Now, just wanted to kind of show. This is the standard one, sort of that I modeled it off of. It was actually, it was actually somewhat hard to get all the dimensions. And kind of a long story short, you can watch the SCAD video on this and explaining how I made this. This is actually a circle with two cubes to knock out the corners, and that's how that goes together like this. But all the spacings and everything, it's actually a little bit difficult. Now, as I said, I've done this one at about four millimeters. I I'm going to drop the model down to three. Uh, so these are a little bit proud, but you can kind of see how it goes together. So, I, I mean, I could just simply go like this and, um, you know, aesthetically, yeah, that would be kind of cool. It's okay. Um, but hey, I've got a 3D printer, so I wanted to make this, so I've made a cover. Actually, what I'm thinking about doing is making um, a module that actually makes different versions so you just put in parameters and this will spit out if you want to switch here or you want a square plug whatever it'll kick it out i'm thinking about that now what i'm going to do i did taper these in the model so we'll take a tapered screw to recess but i've decided to take these number six screws i have and just use those um i like the aesthetics a little bit better they won't they won't uh they'll be proud of the surface a little bit but that'll be fine uh, for the most part and so again this is now tapered down and now it's all buttoned up so it's complete so here we go so we've created this interesting utility box now again um, the reason I designed this is is I wanted I wanted a box I could mount flush to the wall um, 
you know, like this flush to the wall, or sit on a desk or, or what have you that was um, kind of cool looking. Now, what you could do is pop holes in both sides and gang these together. Um, again, I'm thinking about modifying the code so I can go out, you know, three, six, however many I want. Um, I'm going to be doing a bigger 3D printer, so I can print a big one if I want and, you know, have my own... Um, you know, six plug if I want, six, 12 plug, how many ever I want. Uh, pretty economical. Because um, you can't see it, but on that side, I've got a long, uh, uh, I think, four foot power bar. It was quite expensive. And again, I'm thinking about, you know, again, for the workbench, mounting this on the wall by the workbench. Again, I can think of a dozen and one uses. Uh, actually, I, one of the other purposes I was thinking about is I can put. Um, you know, a, a home automation control switch in one side, you know, make it a square because they're typically square and then put a plug on the other side to control something. For example, like my outdoor lights um, that is another application I'm thinking. So again, I can think of a lot of uses for this uh, and it's pretty handy. So uh, again, I'll have the, I'll have STLs for these as well as if you look down below, I'll have, um, to our sister site where I have the open SCAD code for this too. So if you want to make something like this, hey, the STLs will be there, the open SCAD co uh, code will be there. And hey, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. A lot more stuff coming like this. Also subscribe to our sister channel, uh, openscad.diy3dtech.com. And hey, we'll see you in another video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.